Okay, so this is the five ton gantry crane that I built from scratch. And I built it kind of just accumulating the parts on accident, on purpose, I, I don't know. When I first bought the I-Beam, which is a W828 I-Beam. Uh, that means it's 3 eighths thick on the top and bottom and quarter inch web, but it's 28 pounds of foot, it's the W28. And I thought I was gonna build one of those swag off-road press brakes, and I didn't. So it sat and I was kind of wondering, and friend had a warehouse and thought, yeah, we'll build a gantry crane. So this is what I came up with. In the process of doing that, the other materials I grabbed were these, which I also identified just in the local scrapyard as W828, so they matched. And I Facebook Marketplace this, which is five by five inch by quarter. And I bought two of them, and they were 20 foot long, and I actually have just used one. So these are just 10 foot lengths, and then they sit off. So um, it's almost a 14 foot overall height but that's how it first started and I, I drilled holes down here and I had some cute little casters and it wasn't long enough like it on a on a polished concrete floor it was okay but when a friend uh, changed use of his warehouse and wanted moving this out just to my yard I was going to either move it here or a farm uh, you know I decided I needed to add some length and also it's really handy for the kind of stuff I do, either playing with boats or, I mean, anything else to have it movable. So what I did was I had this C channel, which is just, I believe it's quarter, and I just welded it directly onto that I-beam and just welded it thoroughly. So to that, and to make it roll, I bought, I believe it's an Amish carriage place on eBay sells these and it's, it just basically is a big piece of metal here with a flange, which I just welded there and it had a hub for like a, a Amish carriage, but to a five by four and a half foot pattern. And the real way to do this that would have been load rated would have been to go buy trailer wheels that were 2,500 pound, really probably more than that, probably 3,000 pounds. So you could compensate for the weight of the crane and the weight of the rated load but I didn't do that so I just went to the local junkyard and I believe they're like five dollars a piece to buy Crown Vic spares and that's what I did and they've proved to be uh, solid so far I needed deflection I have had it a known 4500 pound load that I was able to roll through the yard so that's worked out well I attached some of these this is just half inch round stock and I welded it to it and that is just for the purpose of being able to lift it with the boom pole or tug on it from different directions with the tractor and that's been really handy i did gusset it and up top there are six on each side they're three quarter grade eight bolts and all the top man i think there's like forty five thousand pound brake strength per bolt so 12 of those in total and uh, feel pretty good about the connection there and then I just gusseted it with another piece of half inch and that's I believe it's half inch uh, four by eight angle that I used up there to actually make the connection let's see so I've got a iron tin just the northern tool uh, gantry I guess it's called a chain fall and that's proven to be okay, but uh, one gripe is it is very slow. Like, you get the load capacity, but you don't get the speed. So, and kind of second thought, and the other problem is the chainfall is cheap, but the trolley is expensive for a setup like this. So, I bought the trolley on eBay from a man and was able to pick it up in person to save on shipping uh, as kind of like a part of a road trip. So I would say splurge on the trolley, or at least plan on that. And the way I rated the crane for five ton, and I mean, one I had that beam already. So I basically went online to see what the deflection was and for other manufactured gantry cranes. And I believe that this span and the rated load was like an eighth of an inch deflection 
at the center of the beam with a full five tons. So that's how I yeah, I thought that eighth of an inch would be acceptable and that's kind of similar to what other crane manufacturers were doing. So that's how I came up with that. You can see I just have C-clamps up there because I needed it in the center not long ago. It's kind of a common way to stop a, a crane trolley. And anything else? I think that's about it. Kind of explains the setup. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much money I had into it. I made $100 for the I-beam. I think I had $90 in this other steel. And I believe I've got $130 in this one piece of 5x5. Five five. I believe the uh, wheels, I, I can't remember, I think it was like 120 maybe 150 bucks for the, the four of those. And then these were, I think those are $5 a piece. So not a lot there. I think that the trolley was maybe $220 and the chain fall was like 90 bucks on clearance at Northern Tool. So, oh, and the, one of the most expensive things was I think 80 bucks for those bolts, those grade eight bolts. So however much the total of that is, is what I got in the crane. But uh, I know you couldn't buy one like that or, or build one with non-scrap materials, but it's proven to be strong and usable in my case. And no plans to sell it. Probably needs more paint though. But hope that's helpful.